So 2021 vintage here of Domaine de la Penise Chateauneuf du Pop. And I'm pretty darn excited about this one for several different reasons. Uh, probably the biggest and foremost one is that I love old vine material in Chateauneuf uh -huh. du Pop. So we're talking about 60 to 99 year old vines here. Planted in 24, 1924. The oldest are 1924, indeed. And so uh, La Mas in this particular bottling here is uh, named after the little farmhouse that's on the property that was built in the 14th century, right? Mm -hmm. And so um, what's really, really exciting about this property is that it's now in the hands of Clou de Caillou, yeah, one, of, one of the great producers with Chateauneuf. Heavy weight, yeah. Um, you know, and very, very close uh, to Chateau Beaucastel. Mm -hmm. um, we're talking about so much pedigree and so much kind of, I guess, lineage with in not just the soil and the vines, but also now in the hands of a really, really great caretaker of the estate. So Absolutely. watch these, the this particular producer. This is kind of like us bringing you the access to these wines, right? So when I say access, I mean Eduardo here has been to the estate. He's actually seen that. He's actually seen these vineyards. You know, uh, breathtaking. <laughs> when you're in front of them, it really puts it into context. And when you put your glass to your nose to the glass, it really expresses all that. Uh, the vineyards are breathtaking. Uh, oldest, as we said, planted in the 1920s. Some gnarly vines with covered with galettes with the big rocks. Mm -hmm and the soil that kind of comes through in little parts that it's making this this vine stress and give you all this uh, aromatic complexity. They're very lucky that uh, Claude Caillou came on board and, and decided to inject new vitality, uh, new, um, a lot of a lot of money and time and manpower to to keep this dream alive. The know-how of Claude Caillou, right? <clears throat> yes, And indeed. also the old vine material and then being, you know, next to Boca still, uh, mm -hmm. you know, th this wine, as big as it is, there's definitely some body and some richness to it, and there's some ripeness that can feel just a little bit of that warmth from the top. It's still lifted and elegant, right? There's so much. Oh, it's lovely. There's a polish. There's we a, there's opened a it not even an hour ago, and it is given already all this unveiling of the, it's like a rose bush just kind of opening up. It's really, really beautiful. Yeah, I, I, I can kind of like see like the middle of like purple plums and like, you know, blueberries. Mm -hmm. Some of it's slightly dry, but some of it really, really fresh. You know, there's there's accents of, of you know cracked pepper and licorice and all kinds of like dried herbs and you know it, this is just it's beautiful. <laughs> it is really yeah. gorgeous, right? David uh, from Providence uh, suggested a dish that I think it's going to be and it's amazing with it. Uh, A5 uh, with a little bit of a eggplant, yeah, and a, and a beef jus and just kind of like something <sighs> super simple. Exactly. Eggplant, beef. Beef jus. Yeah, and this is a, it's such an elegant wine. It has like all this velvet around it and, and floral component, which to me, I think is personally ideal for Wagyu. Wagyu, yeah. you don't want to overpower with a big tannic monster, I, right? I 100% agree with that. Sometimes I even have done burgundy with Wagyu. Mm -hmm. um, and just because you want that elegance, you want that finesse, you want that mouthfeel that Wagyu kind of offers you, that whole mouth coating experience to not really kind of be intruded on so much. And yeah. So there's so much polish and finesse to this particular wine. Um, I, I think that we're gonna see even better things from this estate yeah. now in the future, considering you know what's here. Um, and um, Paul, I'm just excited to be able to offer this. This is super this is tasty, delicious. It's a wine that's not gonna last. <laughs> it's, we're gonna definitely take care of this in no time. We're gonna fight over this bottle. Yes, indeed. Okay, cheers. cheers.